Hey everybody, welcome back to Champions of Midgard. Let's keep protecting Midgard as the champions we are. So, starting to set up second level, or second round. Forgot to give Jen back her warriors. So, we get a new troll, two new undead. Oh, upside down undead. There's another blue, which is of uh, interest to me. Another rune comes out. A new merchant ship lands. And nobody sailed, so no, nothing new happens down here. But we do refill these four spaces. So more food appears at the smokehouse, another axeman, another spearman, and another swordman. And Jen is now first player. And I don't think Jen can say no to those two spearmen. So she now has four warriors to my one. Okay. And that was the easy one. Let's see, what's the new ship that came in? Pay a buck and get two Axemen. Oh, that's very nice. And I have a buck from defeating the undead. What the heck? Let's go on ahead and grab that. I'll pay my buck and get two Axemen. All right. Jen's happy to have gotten the Spearmen for free rather than having to pay. And now that merchant ship is empty. Okay, where is Jen going next? I believe Jen will go for the troll again. And, you know, that's got to make you start to wonder. Is Jen's secret goal the uh, get the most trolls? Spoiler alert, it is. Jen wants to be the troll slayer. But, you know, it's worth going after trolls anyway just to keep get from getting these shame tokens because they can add up to a lot. In a, in a two player game, especially, it makes a big deal if only one player is collecting these every time. Although the rewards for trolls aren't quite as nice. I mean, you don't get any money, you don't get any favor of the gods, you just get some lumber, but you also get to schluff off shame tokens. All right. And this one's this could be this is an interesting troll to fight. He's only got one hit point, so any one warrior could take him out, and he would take out three warriors per round. So I think Jen's planning on going after him with just a single warrior, although that's a little dangerous too. Alrighty, let's see. So anyway, so Jen went, I went, Jen went, now it's my turn again. And looking around, remember, I want to go for blue. There's a blue across the ocean. And it would be nice to go get this guy. I'd make some more money. Although, the longer you wait, the more attractive these get. But then, you know, the more likely somebody else is to grab them. But if I wanted, I could go on ahead and reserve one of these two boats. This one has a carrying capacity of 10, but it costs a buck. This one has a carrying capacity of 5 and doesn't cost anything. And you know what? I think I, think I am going to reserve a ship to uh, sail. And not only do I reserve a ship, I also reserve whether I'm going for this monster, this monster, or this monster. And I'm coming for you, Crimthurs. All right. So I don't, I don't load this ship up until later, the same time that Jen is deciding how many guys are going to fight the troll and whatnot. So Jen's got two more workers. And she, right, all she's doing right now is fighting a troll. But she's got way more fighters than she needs. But you know what? I think Jen's going to go hunting uh, because some of her fighters will go fight the troll. And in fact, this troll is so tough, she doesn't want to send a bunch of guys. So the rest, she could actually send off to hunt to get more food. My turn. Do I want to, you know what oh, I want to do now? I want to go to the Sage's house because before I sail, before I load this ship up, I can find out what's waiting for me in the ocean. I get to look at any one face down ocean card and I get or journey card, and I get a, a new, what do you call it? Let's look at the journey card first. This is obviously the one I'm going to look at, and all quiet. It's going to be smooth sailing. Now, this could have been a whirlpool or a kraken or various things that make me lose warriors and or food. But as it is, I know, now I don't have to worry about this. All I have to, I mean, when I arrive, all I have to do is feed my warriors and then fight the bad guy and collect the booty. Although, and the interesting thing about this guy, I can't find him with spears, but you know what? I don't have any spearmen anyway, so I don't particularly worry about that. And this guy's worth 12 points. He is the most valuable of all of them. All right. So anyway, so I took a peek and I also get a... Uh, I would like to be prosperous, have the most money at the end of the game. So now I've got two secret goals. If I've got the most money, again, that's five points or two if I'm tied for most money. But remember, even if I don't have the most money at the end of the game, I can trade in, I can use one time this success rune and I will automatically succeed. So that was my turn. Jen's got one more action. Now where is she going to go? All right, so she's going to hunt. She's going to fight that troll. What else would she like to do? Does she want to grab some runes because she's starting to build up? Or, you know what? I think Jen is going to go to the shipwright. Jen is going to build. She's not going to use these public long ships. 
She's going to build her own. Pay the money and lumber to take a private ship. This one, the best one, the Drekar or the Snekja, which is Nazza, this one has a capacity of 8, this one has a capacity of 6. This is worth 8 victory points, 4 points, 2 lumber, 2 money, or 1 lumber and 1 money. Jen happens to have 2 bucks and 2 lumber. She will spend all of that and build her own private ship, which is worth eight points at the end of the game. And now, whenever Jen wants to travel, this is a capacity of eight. Not quite as nice as the capacity of 10, but this capacity of 10 costs money. Every time Jen sails with this, she'll sail for free. And it's worth eight points. So she's pretty happy with that. And she's still got some food and a favor of the gods. And that was Jen's last action. Now it's my last action. Let's see here. Now then, so I'm coming over here to fight this guy. Do I just want to grab two points? Do I want to convert? No, I don't have any lumber to get some food. I want to make sure I have the most money at the end of the game. So the, way, the main way you make money is by fighting the undead. You can see this one has a reward of three. This one has a reward of one. These always have rewards of victory points and favors of the gods. These always have lumber and the shame stuff. These are the way you get the most money. So I could go for this guy. If I beat him, he, um, but he has three hit points. But he only does one damage. So I could, I've got a pretty good chance of beating this guy, and I'd get three bucks. And I can't fight him with swordsmen, but you know what? I don't have any swordsmen anyway. So, and I've got three guys. If I send one guy across the sea to beat this guy, because he's only got one hit point, I could leave my other two guys to fight him. And this guy's, I, I, you know what? I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to take a gamble. I do have one favor of the gods. This gives me one chance to reroll if things don't go my way. So I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to go for this guy so I can get some more money. Right. So, we are done with all our worker placement. Now, we go to our fighter placement. Jen is going to send one of her spearmen, I think. Now, spearmen, they have a 50-50 chance of getting a success. And this troll only has one hit point, so Jen only needs one success. But it could be a shield, um, or it could be a, uh, you know, blanks. Now this guy does three points of damage. One shield isn't going to protect one guy. Now Jen wants to go fight this troll with as few guys as possible so the rest can go hunting and give Jen food as a resource. Because Jen could convert that food into money. She could do all kinds of stuff. Now she gets one reroll. So what is her chance? If she has a 50-50 chance, if it fails, she could reroll again. So, a 50-50 chance followed by another 50-50 chance? Surely that's a 100% chance, right? Yeah, Jen's going to take a chance. She's going to go over to this guy with one. So the rest of these are going to go hunting a bit later. Now i got to decide my two. I am going to send two guys off to fight this guy because he's a tough one. And I'm going to send one guy and one food off to cross the ocean and fight this guy. Now this guy, one guy will be able to do it. And the interesting thing is, once I deal with whatever this is, and I already know it's nothing, it's, it's calm sailing. Once I arrive, one food can feed two Vikings. So I could afford to actually have another guy on this boat to up my chances. But I think this guy's pretty easy. I'm having most of my guys go fight this guy who is much tougher. All right. So, which means I'm wasting the food a little bit. Over, if I've tried to sail over to this one, one food per one Viking, the... Um, you know, half of this food would feed the Vikings, so I'm going to lose half that food, but say I'll be. It's worth it because remember, I want to have mastery of blue because that's one of my goals. So I've assigned all of my Vikings. Jen has assigned all of hers. And um, now we go on ahead and we start doing stuff. First of all, Jen's going to go hunting with her three remaining warriors who stayed home. And she wants to see lots of successes to get more food. All right. Now, every swordsman counts as plus one even now. So Jen got one, two, three successes, and both of these guys failed. That means Jen collected three food. Now, she could use a reroll to reroll these and try to get some more food, but she's saving this reroll in case she needs it with the troll. So these guys are done. Nice thing about going hunting is you never die. And so Jen got three food thanks to her sword maiden. So we're done hunting. Now, Jen is going to fight the troll. She just needs one success. She's got a 50 50 chance. Come on. Boom! She got it. All right. So that's one success. That is one damage to the troll, but the troll strikes back, does three damage. That totally murderifies this guy. But you know what? He's a Viking. He got a glory at death. He's going to Valhalla. He could not be happier. And Jen just got another troll, which gave her six more points. One, two, three, four, five, six. And um, another lumber. And it's a real shame, the, this lumber. I mean. 
it, depending on the light, it's kind of easy to tell, but if in the, actually it's interesting, on the camera, it's much easier to tell that this is brown and these are red. In real life, these all look kind of the same, but the trick of the camera makes this look, it's a real shame that they made these two colors so ridiculously similar. But anyway, so Jan got troll, she got her points, she got another lumber, and I ended up getting even more shame. Now that I've got two shame, uh, is it shame or blame? Um, no, they're blame tokens. I like shame better though. Now that I've got two, that's negative three points at the end of the game. But if I ever get to fight some trolls, I could get rid of them and then Jen has to take some. Um, but anyway, Jen's happy. She just wants to stay in the lead on trolls to get her reward. All right, so she beat that guy. Now it comes over here. I got to beat this guy. I need three successes. Now this is going to be tough. I mean, there are doubles here. Um, but there are also blanks. I do have one favor of the gods, so one reroll. Let's see if I can get some successes. Alrighty. That is two successes and a fail. Now, there are these little things to keep track. No monster ever has more than three hit points. So, I have done two damage to this guy of the total three, and now he gets to strike back and do one, so he just killed one of my guys, and now we can keep going. Now, if I wanted... I could have dumped my two points and then gone for a reroll. I wouldn't reroll this though, because this is as good as it gets. I could have rerolled this and maybe gotten the kill right at once, but I'll just go on ahead and let him die. Um, because I, these Axemen, they don't have shields anyway. So no matter what, one of my guys was going to die, guaranteed. But I'll go on ahead and um, you know take him out. So we've done two points of damage, and now the fighting continues. I just need one more success. So I've got a 66% chance of succeeding. And I failed. Dun, dun, dun. So now he's about to get killed, but I'm going to call in the favor of the gods. I'm throwing two points away here, and I need a success. I need a success bad now. Oh my gosh. Oh. So he just died. I lost two points. He died, and I failed to beat the guy. I went in there with two tough guys. I rolled four dice. I should have succeeded, but the dice were not kind. And this guy, uh, so I told you, I wasted a worker, I threw two guys away, I threw two points away. That was debilitating. That was very bad. It would have been great. I would have scored five points. I would have gotten three bucks. Wow. Come on, game. There's a success. There's a success. Yeah, I mean, that was two... Oh, wow. I, I rolled this die. What was that? Three. I rolled one, two, three, four. Four dice. And I only got one success and three failures. Statistically, that was not very likely. The dice really boned me there. I had a good chance, and the game worked me over. Well, hopefully, I'll do better across the ocean. This is our last one. So, first of all, we go from left to right. Nobody took to this one. So over here, we reveal, and I already know ahead of time, it's all quiet. So we don't have to worry about this at all. And now I have to feed. I have one guy who only needs one food, so I will feed that guy. And now this guy, all by himself, oh shoot, wow, I gave up my reroll. Now this guy only has one chance. He doesn't have any rerolls. This could be really, really bad. But again, I've had enough failures. I am certain I'm going to succeed. This guy, he has made a great journey across the ocean. He knows he's going to die. Because, I mean, there's no way I'm going to avoid that three points of damage. This is his one chance. And he's going for glory. Let's see it, folks. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Oh. Wow. Well, that was a very, very, very bad turn. So this guy did no damage. Uh, he takes three damage. He's over. I, don't have, I didn't send anybody else. I took a chance. I, I spread myself pretty thin. Jen took a chance, and it came out swimmingly for her. I don't even think I was taking a chance. I really stacked the odds in my favor, and I got boned big time. Wow. I wasted two actions. I lost three guys and two points. That is a significant setback. All right. Well, that was it. Um, you know, all right. Uh... So, end of the round, we clean up, get our workers back, the ship goes back. Wow, that was really, really awful. That puts Jen in a really big advantage. She's got her nice ship now, she's got a whole bunch of stuff, I've got nothing, she's got a lot of stuff. Right, so these guys weren't defeated, they leave. Um, this is gone. Um, you know, any, uh, right, and let's see, the trolls gone, these are gone. And we, right, what else do we do? Oh, money appears. Appears, appears, appears. So these guys become even more valuable. Oh, that guy. 
All right, so we took back our workers, we got rid of stuff, and we move on to round three of eight. And so we're going to start the third round. We once again, another troll comes out. Two more undead come out. A new ship lands. New um, unknown troubles in these waters. Is it smooth sail again? More food appears. Another axe man, another spear man, another... Um, and, yeah, and somebody took that. So, I believe we've set everything back up, right? Yeah, we got all the new stuff, new ship, new money, new things. And Jen is the first player again. And the first thing that Jen's going to do, she's going to go over here and she's going to grab. She is really, you know, that last turn, that really debilitated me. It's going to be very, very tough for me to make a comeback now, I think. But who knows? Um, so Jen grabbed uh, the best worker spot. I could come over here and grab two lousy swordsmen. And the interesting thing is the swordsmen are not that great for me. Because I don't get, I mean, you know, they only have a 30% chance of success. And a, and a, oh my gosh. And that's why Jen grabbed these, because these guys are good for me. Um, because, oh, whoops, well, one thing did, one thing did go my way, I forgot. I did get one double. When I was fighting, even though I lost overall, I got one double. Get one victory point each time you roll a double um, in a round of battle. So I did get one victory point last round for rolling my double. And so that's why Jen took these, because these are the best guys for me, because they have more doubles than anybody else. Jen snagged them. If I want to get some decent guys, i got to come over here and snag them. But they're the worst for me, but they're really good for Jen. So should I snag them? Yeah, I guess I should. So I got to start rebuilding from scratch now. Wow, that was devastating. Jen's next turn. Heck, a whole bunch of food is showing up down here. She'll go ahead and grab it all. She's pretty happy about that. My turn. I'd like to come over here and grab this merchant ship, but I don't have any money because I wasted all my money and I didn't get... Oh, wow. Like I said, this is hugely debilitating. Jen's now got a ton of food, which she can now turn into whatever she wants at the... Wow, okay. Um, I just got to start rebuilding. What am I going to do? I got two little guys. Jen has left that troll wide open. Um, although this is a tough troll to beat. I need three damage. He does two damage. I'd have a very tough time beating that troll with no rerolls and only two guys. So Jen's finally left a troll open for me. But I'll probably lose against that guy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I could come over here and fight this guy. Try to start rebuilding get some money. He only has two damage. I have a better chance of beating him than him. I, I don't have, you know, I, I, uh, wow. I could sail across the ocean instead. I could be the first to grab this. This has a capacity of five, which means I could put up to five guys and or food. I've got food, so I could put two guys and one food and try to sail across the ocean and beat this guy or this guy again. Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to try and sail across the ocean again. But here's the thing. i got to choose now without knowing. So first thing I'll do is I'll come over here to the Sage House. I'll get another thing, have the most um, God's favors at the end of the game, and I get to peek at one of these. Which one do I want to peek at? This guy is easier to beat. I only need one success. I don't have any spearmen, so I'll peek at this again. And it's all quiet again. I didn't even need to waste the time knowing that. Okay, so, so now Jen knows I'm planning to come over here. If Jen wanted, she could go on ahead, get on her own boat and snag this space right out from underneath me if she wants, because she's got tons of workers. What the heck? Let's say she's going to do that. And I'm like, ah, oh, now I don't even benefit from the knowledge I have because Jen has jumped on there. Now that means Jen is sailing blind because she can't peek. But she has, by doing this, effectively taken away my advantage I've got. And if I want to sail across the ocean now, now I've got to come over here, which is totally, and what she doesn't know is, this is totally safe for her. And she's going to get a blue, which is going to undo my lead in blue. Oh my god, these th my, things are just blowing up in my face. All right, so Jen grabbed that. Uh, but I've got all these things. These could be potentially a lot of points if I have all these things at the end of the game. Now what am I going to do? <sighs> Well, I could try to come over here, but you know what? I think I just need to redouble. I'm just going to come over here and get a sword. No, I'm going to come over here, grab first player from Jen, and, um, and get another swordsman. And because then, hopefully, I'll get a double over here. And Jen says, oh, you thought you were going to do that? Uh-uh. I'm going to grab this so that there's only singles. So you won't benefit from that double. And so Jen grabbed another guy. I'm like, ah, oh, that was a guy. All right, so I have one more guy now. What am I going to do? You know what? If I fight anybody, they'll probably die. I think I'm just going to go hunting. I think this is going to be like a real just rebuild and try to recover from that devastating blow I just suffered. Okay, so that's that. Alrighty, now, interesting. 
Um, nobody's fighting the troll. Nobody's fighting either of these guys. Jen now has to decide. This is the only place Jen is going. So, what is she going to do here? She's got a whole bunch of guys, but Spearman can't fight this guy. She's really good with these guys. She'll send two. One food should take care of them. She could carry up to eight things, though. And the thing is, she doesn't know what this is. If this makes her lose food, if she loses the food, then these guys will starve. So she'll send at least two food. That way, if she loses one food, she'll still be able to make it through. And is she going to send another guy? Well, this thing does three points of damage. Pretty much everybody who goes is going to die. I think Jen's going to leave the rest of her guys home. So that's it. All right, so Jen is declared, and um, so now, nobody fought the troll. Since nobody fought the troll, that means everybody gets a shame token. And now I've got three, which puts me at negative six points, and Jen's only at negative one. Although, again, the defeating trolls means we can basically get rid of them and hand them to other players. Nobody fought these guys. They're going to go away. Jen now reveals... Oh, look how happy that is. All quiet. Although that means Jen wasted some food. Because she only needed one to feed both of these guys, but it was worth it. She didn't want to take the chance of these guys starving in case they're... I think it was like you get lost and then you lose one food, then those guys would starve. So, Jen has made it. One food will feed them. The other one is lost. And now these guys are ready to fight this guy. And Jen still has a reroll. And she... Wow! Okay. So, remember, she did one point of damage, but her swordman get um, extra, so she did two points of damage. That's enough to take this guy out. Three points of damage from the guy. One of them is blocked, but still two go through, so both of these guys die a glorious death. But Jen has beaten this guy. She gets the two bucks. She gets another favor of the god. She didn't even have to use the one she's got. And she gets 12 points. One, two, five, ten. Wow. Okay. So... Jen is very happy with that. She takes her own private ship back home, which, by the way, is worth eight points. We recall all our dudes. Um, the, all of these guys go away. We both, both, to both our shame, we didn't fight that troll. But Jen, she doesn't have to chase after trolls right now because she's clearly in the lead. As soon as I take out a couple of trolls, then maybe she'll do another. But she doesn't have to worry about trolls right now. Um, right, so new ones come out. Oh, nobody even went to get this ship. So, a new ship is coming out. All right, oh, hold on a second. It's very easy to get this out of order. All right, so we take our workers back. Um, undefeated trolls, undefeated uh, zombies. Um, oh, and this revealed card goes away. Then, um, gold. These two guys are getting even more valuable. And, um, right, and then we move on to round four. And now we start refilling. A new troll. Two new zombies. Zippity, dippity. Um, a new merchant ship, and stuff fills up, and my going first doesn't benefit me at all because I can't get doubles because Jen snagged that single specifically to, to hurt me. So those refill, a new ship came, oh, and there's now a new thing here, and a new monster. Um, oh, it's a uh, Hrimthur's Redux, although it's a red one now. Now this is another interesting thing. Another way you can score points at the end of the game is if you have gone for variety. What is it? I think it says right here. Yeah, sets of enemies. If you, for every set of three colors, blue, red, and yellow you've got, that gives you an additional five points. So now Jen's got a blue. She wants to take out a yellow and a red so that she gets a five points. And me, I, you know, Jen's taken out three things. I've only taken out one. I, the only thing I've got going for me is I've got all of these. And these could add up six points, five points, and four points at the end of the game if I can achieve all these goals. But on the flip side, I've got all this shame that is weighing me down. So I get to go first now. I have no money, so I can't go to the merchant ship. There's no reason to jump out because they're all just singles. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take on a troll so I can start um, shifting some shame over to Jen. Which Jen won't be happy about because remember, she's got the secret goal of being the troll slayer. So I snag that. At least there's some benefit for being first. And now Jen, this is an interesting thing. I think Jen is going to go to the market where she can trade one for one food, money, and lumber. She's going to trade all of her food, all the five foods she's collected, because remember, she went hunting last turn, and turn it into five money. One, two, three, four, five. So now Jen is crazy loaded. She's got seven bucks. And now, um, let's see. So I've got that troll. I think I could beat that troll with my three swordsmen. So do I, I don't think I want to bother collecting anymore, unless I'm going to try and fight something else. But again, I just have to rebuild now. 
Um, let's see, what are these reactions? This is shields also deal damage, and I've got these guys who roll shields. Um, oh, you know what, I think I'm going to spend, oh, but I have no lumber. So I can't get either of these runes because I have no lumber. I can't go to the market to turn the food I do have into lumber. How do I get lumber? I defeat trolls. Um, right, what am I going to do? Uh, because I'd like to get this gifts because this would be um, immediately, it's worth two points, and any combination for lumber, meat, or money. That would be a big deal to me, but I can't snag it. I can't build a ship. I can't come over here to the merchant ship and get this uh, food and lumber. I could, I could hold on to first player. I could get one food, not very exciting. I can't get any favors of the gods because I have no money. I could just get two victory points. <laughs> wow. I am hurting for certain folks. I could peek at more um, seafaring stuff and get yet another bonus card that I'm, fa I'm failing to have the most money, the most blue enemies, because right now Jen and I are tied on blue enemies, and the most favors of the gods. But if I want to go for those, maybe I should... Uh, Let's see. I could maybe... I, now, I need to get more blues because Jen's catching me on blues. Right now, I'm only going to get three points at the end of the game for being tied on Crusher of the Ice. And if I beat this guy, I'll get three bucks and five victory points. But, um, right, so I got two. So I could go for this guy and then try and pick up somebody else. And then I've got four guys, two for him and two for him, but no re-rolls. But I am really under the gun. I've gotten screwed big time by luck. I need to get lucky now. Because Jen, now that Jen is way in the lead, she could just play super conservative for the rest of the game. And since I am under the eight ball, unless she gets really crazy unlucky, and if she plays conservatively, she, you know, she can control that. She already has two re-rolls. Wow. I think I, I think I got to take a chance. Right, so that's that. And now that Jen sees that, Jen doesn't want me to grab any more people. So she'll go on ahead and grab the best one I could have taken for myself because I need those doubles for more victory points. I'm like, ah, oh, stop that! All right, well, then I'll go on ahead and grab this guy. And then Jen, what the heck, she'll go on ahead and grab that guy. Not that even she needs him, even. She is just trying to deny me having good guys because I'm trying to go for two. And now I've got to do it with only this. And so now Jen's got a whole bunch of guys. She can't fight the troll. She could fight this guy. And remember, she wants a yellow because she wants to get a yellow. Or she could travel across here, get three bucks. But she has no food. So she wouldn't. So she'll just go on ahead and fight this guy. And now I've got one more pl worker placement. I can't, there's no reason to go hunting because I'm going to use all my guys to fight these two. You know what I think I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to. Oh, this kind of sucks. If I come here, I can hold on to a first player. But Jen can't take it from me. But I'll get a fifth fighter I need to fight these two guys I'm going to fight and try to crawl. Claw my way back up. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold on to first player and get yet another swordsman. Oh. And swordsmen are, you know, Jen likes swordsmen because I, I don't get any bonus. Although, I, I do have this... Oh, wait, no, I never got it. There's this thing of turning shields. So I've got all these swordsmen that are the weakest guys in the world. But it's all I've got. I need to pull myself back out of this hole I've gotten into from last round. Yikes. Okay, so anyway, so we're all done with our worker placement. Um, I, I figure out how many I could put... So I'm going to use all my guys. How do I do them? Do I put three over here and two over here? This guy has a 50-50 chance of getting one success. I need two successes. The, um, but this guy does two points of damage. This guy does two points of damage. If I don't finish this guy... So I basically... If I send three guys over here, I've got two rounds to beat him. And I've only got one round to beat him. If I, and what's more important? Do I get the money? I need the money. But if I don't do... If I fail on this, well, heck, both Jen and I get some shame. And then I'm really hurting for shame. But I need to pass this shame on to her. But I need that money to claw my way back. Because then I could get some re-roll stuff or I could try to hold on to money because I want to have the most money at the end of the game. Oh, I just don't like it. No matter how you cut it, folks, I don't like it. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. And now Jen, she, heck, she's got six fighters. She could beat this guy with a single guy without too terribly much trouble. She's got two re-rolls. Heck, she'll send her one swordsman. And she'll send one axeman just to be on the safe side. And that should be fine because Jen's got two re-rolls if she needs them. All right, so we're done assigning. Nobody traveled across the sea. Um, now... 
No, Jen didn't go hunting, so that means it's a shame. She's got all these guys sitting around. Well, you know what? Since Jen, these guys are going to hunt, let's let's. Jen's going to have everybody fight. So there's no way she's going to lose. One of these guys will die. But by having two, any of these guys might roll a shield, which means she wouldn't lose anybody. And since she basically just kind of denied me the guys I needed, she didn't go hunting, she'll go crazy. Why not? All right, so we've assigned, and now here we go. I'm already in the hole. If this doesn't work, folks, I don't think I'm, there's any coming back. Um, there's no catching up at this point. So I need two successes. Two successes. That didn't work. All right, so I did one point of damage. And this guy does two points of damage. Both these guys are dead. I failed. I failed. Wow. All right, so I wasted a guy. I just lost two guys. Let's move on to my next one. Let's see how well I do here. And oh my god. Oh my god. A, a fail, a fail, and at least I got two successes. <sighs> okay, so I beat this guy. I did two damage. He killed two things, so I only have one guy left over. And what's my reward? I get five points and three bucks. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and three bucks. One, two, three. That was, could have been worse, but that was not good. All right, so now Jen, she is going to have the most lopsided fight in history. She's looking for a shield. She got a shield, so his damage didn't do anything. She did one, two, three, four, five, six damage to him. All she needed to do was one. So Jen sent all these guys. She didn't lose anybody. This guy's dead, Jen gets a buck, and she gets three points, one, two, three, and she is now, all she needs to do is beat a red, and she's got her set collection as well. Wow. Okay, so that's that. Nobody sailed across the ocean. That was it for the fourth round. So, nobody beat this troll, everybody gets a shame. Jen doesn't mind getting a shame, because I've got a lot more. And this troll goes away. Both the undead go away. This merchant ship is going to get replaced. More money appears on these guys. And now I've only got one guy. Jen could sail over here on her private ship with this, with this huge army. And I mean, heck, Jen could take out both of these guys next turn if she uses her own ship plus one of the public ships. And she could make so much money. Um, and in the meantime, I am just... I've got three dollars. Yay! And Jen's got all the money in the world. Jen, next turn, she's going to spend five of this to get herself a... Um, her fifth worker, which is going to put her even more into the lead. But you know what? I think I'm going to stop right there because I hopefully at this point you guys have a pretty good idea of what Champions of Midgard is all about. And if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit the little I up in the top right corner or um, follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.